Hello everyone. Uh, so today we are going to, show, to, going to show you how to adjust the uh, lock button boxes on our G series automatic photo glue. Okay, now, now let's start. Let's to lift up this uh, and then okay. So this is the spells. <coughs> use this to use this two side uh, with this um, pressing blade. Okay. And now we need to test the friction uh, between the belt and the blade. And to make it in to a suitable uh, friction to make the paper feeling uh, smoothly. The best position is to only one paper, one sheet, one time. And you need to control this yourself. To adjust these holders, you see, like this, and you can adjust it yourself. Okay, now the first part is. Uh, Finish and then move to the this is the lock bottom section and this is to uh, you see as it this is feeding on it's a feeding off and the motor on motor off uh, speed up speed down and this is inching okay now the paper comes off. Yeah, and we can see now the position of the uh, You can see the position uh, is good. Also this one. Yeah, when we are inching, we first need to press this uh, to make the paper feeding uh, on and then off, continue. Continue. Okay, there is one point about this uh, adjustment. You can see this year, we need this year. Uh, side to be in street with this one so so that it can cannot be fold here okay let's come continue then it goes to the lock bottom section so this is the hooks you see the hooks is in this place yeah we'll see and same as the other one we'll show you okay And you can adjust these hooks positions according to your product. And this is the upper glue tank we use. You can also uh, adjust the, the position. Okay. And for this one, to 
to to switch this one to lift and uh, put down the glue wheel to make it kind of you know glue the ear look ear. And here, yeah, we need to uh, we use this uh, blade, this iron blade, to press this one to make it into the next section. Yeah, it's like this. And uh, this will be the uh, last two hooks and to uh, for the other two. And this is a cycle tank. Okay, and for this part, we can see now it's uh, not good. Yeah, you see this not in the right position. It, the gap is too large, and we need to we need to make adjustment here. Okay, and we will. Start from the beginning. Okay, folding uh, lock bottom here and this one. Okay, and now we need to make this belt uh, to exceed this crazy lines. Okay, let's show you how to adjust. Okay, we'll and make it. Yeah, here is about two to three millimem, and out this one. Okay, wait for a moment. Wait for a moment. And here we need to you see these uh, two folding blades and the folding blades and the outer side. So the outer, uh, see the outer part need to be in the same line with the creasing line. This one, this one, same. Okay. And now it's better. better and about pressing we need to uh, make the, the side with the glue uh, folding first and then the other another one another side that's why we need to make some slight adjustment about this one you see this one as well Okay, now we can see this side is with glue, and this side need to uh, uh, press first, and we can see from the this one. And then it's this part, we need to uh, make this. Pressing. Adjust the pressing rollers. And you can see there are two modes here. And now it's control mode and it's, it's not running. But you see, as long as it detects paper, as long as it, uh, as long as this this uh, photoelectric detects the paper, it will, the pressing unit will run running, will run. And when we switch to the running mode, we we'll see running mode, and this conveyor will running always running. 
Okay. And this is a speed adjustment. A speed adjustment of the pressing uh, unit. You can adjust it uh, according to your needs. Now we see this panel. About this part, we call it counter, and uh, this one is the total quantity. This one is the quantity we set uh, to make the kick. Okay, so here we didn't see the kicker, but we have it to make the patch. Uh, like if you set 50, and we will kick, and to separate the boxes, uh, and make the uh, operator more easily recognize how many boxes is this in a patch okay and now we're going to show you how to uh, clear the total quantity and also setting this one okay now first we press the left one and the last one to clear this total quantity okay show you how to set the numbers okay First, uh, press this, this one, and to this S, uh, S01, and then we set numbers, like we said 550, okay, and then press the set, and pressing. After we set this part, and the now the num quantity is 50, it means uh, the kicker will kick uh, every 50 boxes and now we setting this one we will continue to press this one to this uh, to this uh, picture and then the setting is finished okay okay another tips about this uh, button is to uh, adjust the dis distance between each boxes and uh, when you uh, switch anti-clockwise uh, it shorter the distance between each boxes when you uh, switch clockwise direction and uh, it's enlarge the distance between each boxes uh, like here two boxes distance okay adjust by here Okay, and uh, that's almost the uh, general introduction of how to adjust the uh, lock bottom boxes on the lock bottom machines. And uh, if you have any other questions, just feel free to let us know. And these are hooks and glue wheels, uh, up glue pumps. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm Bruce Lee from Shanghai Pyongyang, and uh, we are looking forward to receiving your inquiries about the photo machines. Okay, bye bye.